Assalamu alaikum, brother. Thank you for writing to our live session. As I understand your situation, you're 18 years old and you're addicted to watching pornography and masturbation. And you really want to stop. So first of all, I just want to state that your problem is very common and worldwide, you know, men and women, of course, more men than women, um, have this issue and some actually are, you know, have an addiction to it. And what I mean to by an addiction is that, you know, they can't stop no matter what, right? Because it's, it's a chemical change in the brain that makes them compelled to watch porn or masturbate, whether or not it has to do with sexual desire or not, right? So things like stress, anger, boredom, um, feelings of depression, and so forth will, will cause people to, to masturbate, right? Um, it's used as a, a relief for many, many things besides sexual tension, okay? That's, that's kind of like when it's um, in an addiction phase. Um, people get used to the feeling good, right? And, and the chemical reaction in the brain that, that makes you feel good when you do pleasurable things. And so when one is stressed out or depressed or angry or upset, they naturally gravitate towards what they've been doing that makes them feel good. So that's one aspect of the problem. Okay. So the other aspect of the problem is that, yeah, it's very damaging. Um, researchers have found that, you know, chronic masturbation, um, you know, impedes performance in men, right? And it sets up unrealistic expectations um, for f future or potential spouses in regards to body shape and sexual activity. Um, it leads to disappointment, right? And also those that are addicted to pornography and or masturbation um, find it difficult to make that transition to expressing, you know, sexual desire to a real human being, right? Because there's people are so used to watching pornography, or they're just used to masturbating by themselves. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems and issues that can arise from um, being addicted to pornography and masturbation. So it's really good to you know try to to stop it when you can and while you're young. And um, I really honor your asking the question and I honor your desire to stop. So with that said, um, a couple techniques may or may not work for you. You may want to try several. And the first one is <clears throat> remembering, remembering a law, right? And remembering that you will have a future wife who expects and hopes that, you know, you will be pure and that you will be able to function intimately with her and that you will not be comparing her with online visual images of women and so on and so forth. And the most, but the most important is a law, right? We want to remember a law in all that we do. So if you have the urge to watch pornography, pornography or, or masturbate, think about a law, right? And think about how he created our bodies and how we're to treat our bodies with respect and love and dignity because he, he gifted them to us, right? And also think about reading Quran, right? So that's one thing because reading Quran and watching porn or masturbating is not going to be compatible on any level. So if you get the urge to do either, pick up the Quran and read Quran or recite Quran, make do it to Allah, you know, just stay in prayer. Stay in prayer. Another technique is to picture a huge red, red stop sign in your mind, right? If you get the urge, picture the red stop sign immediately and then engage in another behavior, okay? Do something else that you enjoy, right? But physically get up and do it, 
<laughs> right? Don't sit there, but physically get up and engage in either taking a walk, um, doing a household chore, engaging in study, calling a friend, talking to your mother, anything that gets your mind away from what your what your body and, and your mind is is desiring, right? So what you're doing is you're changing your thought patterns, right? You're redirecting them and trying to change them into something else. So instead of your thought patterns being directed towards wanting to watch pornography and physically getting up and turning on the TV or, the, or, or turning the remote or playing with your phone, looking for pornography, you're, you're going to get up and do something different, right? So you're, you're restructuring the way that you think. So as soon as you think about it, you're going to picture a red stop sign and you're immediately going to get up and you're going to do something else. And you might want to make a list of th other things you can do to replace that. Another way and another technique, right, is to visualize who you want to be and how you want to be as a future husband, right? Do you want to be one who is addicted? Do you want to be one who cannot perform in bed? Do you want to be one who, you know, will never be satisfied because nothing can compare to what you've seen in, in pornography? Do you want to be that? You could ask yourself, yourself that question, and that might bring you into the reality of the seriousness of what you're doing. Now, again, brother, I'm not trying, you know, to make you feel bad or make you feel like an anomaly, because this is a very common problem and a very common addiction worldwide, okay? Um, but yes, there are um, very negative consequences to it. And um, who wants an addiction? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially one that's going to impair your sexual functioning, possibly in, in, in the future. Um, so with that said, I also want to bring up the fact that a lot of research has shown that it takes 30 days to create a habit and 30 days to break a habit. So if you like make a list and make a little calendar, private calendar, of what you are going to do when you feel like masturbating or watching pornography and you do it for 30 days you will you will inshallah hopefully have broken the habit or the addiction and if it gets t if it gets tough for you you could always look at your calendar and say well I've only got like 10 days left and I'm only doing this for 30 days or however you want to rationalize it right because that'll make it easier to get through the 30 days but by the end of the 30 days you should have already made you know the structural changes you know in your brain to be able to um, overcome this addiction which would be great inshallah so please you know t look at the t listen to the tips again um, do your calendar make your list of, th of interventions of things you can do besides that and know that many many other young people and older um, struggle with this problem in addiction. You're not the only one. Um, on the other side of things, <clears throat> in Islam, some scholars say it is absolutely haram. Um, some scholars say it's permissible to masturbate once in a while um, if it prevents you from committing zina, right? If it prevents you from having sex before you're married, then it, it is permissible once in a while but most certainly not, you know, in an addiction type of a way, no. So please, you know, do make do it to Allah, pray to Allah to help, to help him help you stop this and um, put it behind you and move forward in, in a healthy way. I'm confident you'll be able to do it. We wish you the best. <laughs>